Now to that deadly banner plane crash in Hollywood. We've just learned the identity of the pilot killed in the crash. This says crews returned to the site again today to remove the wreckage from the road. Let's go right out to CBS News Miami's Ted Scott, who joins us live from Hollywood with the breaking details. Ted? Yeah, Elliot and Lauren, Hollywood police just confirming the name of that pilot about an hour ago. Take a look at this picture here. He is 28-year-old Mitchell Noss. His friends call him Mitch. Several friends confirming to CBS News Miami that this is his picture. And tonight, they're mourning his tragic death. It just blew up, but it feels like it's going to blow up again. Horrified callers report a small plane down on Park Road, just north of Hollywood Boulevard. New video showing the intense flames. Oh my God, no way. People ran to help, but could not get too close. And a lot of people were coming to try to help, but like the plane was so on fire, I don't think there was anything that we could do. Investigators from the NTSB were on the scene today as they cleared the wreckage from the roadway. They tell us shortly after takeoff, air traffic control was worried that the plane was not gaining altitude. The controller had some concerns about the pilot's altitude and he, he reassured the controller that um, he was going to continue the flight. Just four miles from the airport, the Piper PA-25 banner plane went down on Park Road. Investigators are looking for video, interested in hearing what the engine sounded like as the plane came down. Large portions of the flight was captured by surveillance video mounted on buildings. Uh, handheld telephones. Police tell us the pilot is Mitchell Noss. His friends call him Mitch. The NTSB said Noss had a commercial license and was certified to fly single engine and multi engine planes and had an instrument rating. They went on to say that he had a total of 325 flying hours with just 13 to 15 hours in this type of plane. According to investigators, he worked at aerial banners for just two weeks. Four years ago, another banner plane of theirs crashed into a building on Fort Lauderdale Beach. In that case, the owner tells us the pilot was with the company just a few weeks as well. We'll do a little bit more detailed work off-site uh, over the next couple of days. Uh, we have uh, all the pilots, flight records, flight training records. We have all of the airplanes, maintenance records. And the NTSB tells us this investigation could last up to a year. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we're speaking to that pilot's roommate. Live in Hollywood, Ted Scout, CBS News Miami.